I'm excited to welcome you to the absolute best video on JavaScript statements and expressions you'll find anywhere on YouTube. In this video, I cover everything you need to know in detail and use interactive animations, beautiful illustrations, and professional editing to ensure you remain engaged in order to maximize your learning. So let's jump in. All right, I wanna kick off this video by showing some funny stuff that's happening in the console you may have noticed. If I try evaluate something simple, like three plus three, I get back the number six. So this piece of JavaScript is being executed and returning me a value, that is the number six. I can also just enter a string like hello. And when I hit enter, I'm given back that string value, hello. But something funny going on is when I do this, I'm gonna declare a variable, let name equal Daniel. And watch what happens when I hit enter. I'm given back undefined. Now that's a bit strange. Name has a value, its value is Daniel. So why is the console giving me back the primitive value undefined? So to understand this, we need to learn about the difference between statements and expressions in JavaScript. The console always returns a value, and what is returned depends on whether it evaluates a statement or an expression. To understand the differences between expression and statements, I'm gonna be building up this table, where we'll take a look at the description, purpose, an example, the use of semicolon, and what happens inside the console. Now, any piece of code we write in JavaScript will either be classed as an expression or a statement. So let's start with an expression. An expression is code that produces a value. Its purpose is that it evaluates to a value that can be used in the program. A simple example is addition four plus three. Executing this returns the value seven. In terms of using a semicolon, it's not required. And in the console, when we execute an expression like four plus three, a value is returned. That is seven, like we saw earlier. So let's now compare this to a statement. A statement is code that performs an action, but does not return a value. The purpose of statements in JavaScript is it performs logic in a program. And we're gonna be seeing later on in the course, a lot more examples of statements. An example of a statement we know already is declaring a variable, like let first name equal Daniel. This code is performing an action. That is the string Daniel is a value that's being stored in the variable first name. But when this code executes, we're not actually getting back a value. All that's happening is a value is being stored in the variable first name. In terms of using a semicolon, it is best practice to use it. And in the console, when we execute a statement, undefined is returned. Now the specific reason undefined is returned in the console is because the console has to return a value and giving us back undefined is JavaScript's way of saying what you've just done has no meaningful value, which makes sense because we haven't executed an expression, we've executed a statement, which isn't returning a value. Now throughout the course, we'll be looking at a lot of different expressions and statements. So it's a good idea to start thinking about what is returning a value and what is not. And when it's important, I'll be highlighting code we write that is an expression and that is a statement. And I highly recommend you start thinking about code we write as whether they're expressions or statements. So let's go play around in the console again. So once again, we have our expression which in the console returns a value, like three plus four is giving us back the value seven. This is an expression. It is returning a specific value in the console versus a statement, which performs an action but does not return a value, like assigning a variable, like let city equal London. And we know it's best practice to end a statement with a semicolon. Now, as I've mentioned, the console has to return a value, but because this is code that doesn't produce a value, we're just getting back undefined, which is JavaScript's way of saying what we've just done has no meaningful value that's being returned. Now I wanna finish off by showing you this. If I initialize a variable using the let keyword, like let last name and hit enter, this undefined is just like what happened before when we're declaring a variable. Now, because the console has to return a value, we're just getting back undefined. When I now type last name and hit enter, I get back undefined again. This undefined is now coming back at us and telling us that the last name variable has no value. It's because we only initialized it at the start and didn't assign a value to this variable last name. Now, both these undefines are the primitive values undefined, but we're getting them back for different reasons. The reason over here we're getting back undefined is because we're executing a statement. And the reason we're getting undefined here is because we're trying to access the value inside the variable last name, which doesn't exist. So the variable is undefined. This is different to if I were to do this, let first name equal Daniel. Once again, this undefined is being thrown back because we're just declaring a variable and the console has to return a value. 
But now when I access first name, I get back the string Daniel, which is very different to what happened here. When I tried to access the value inside the variable last name, I got back undefined because last name was only initialized and had no value assigned to it. All right, so let's wrap up by building a summary card, statements and expressions. We first looked at statements, which is code that produces a value. And a simple example is four plus three, which inside the console will return seven. Expressions is code that performs an action but does not return a value. The example we saw was declaring a variable, let first name equal Daniel. The action here is that Daniel is the value stored in the variable first name. When executing this line of code, no value is returned, a variable is just being stored, and when executing this in the console, we get back undefined. If you've enjoyed this style of teaching and are looking at mastering JavaScript, you can join me in my JavaScript full course, which is available for free on my channel. The course is designed for complete beginners and covers everything you need to know to code JavaScript at a professional level. In the course, you'll experience the same high quality teaching and build a whole range of real life projects from scratch. Join me today and also make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop with new releases. See you in the JavaScript full course.